<laughs> I think Fred was trying to tell me that our next guest is center stage. She is a delightful young lady, most talented, who not only sings beautifully, but composes all of her songs. And her latest album is called Stone Ground Words. And it's great to have her back on the show. It's been some time. Would you welcome Melanie? It's a lovely song. Thank you. According to uh, Cashbox and Billboard, which uh, I suppose are the biggest trade publications in the music business, you're rated as a number one uh, female songwriter and composer. How, how do you like that? That's kind of nice at your young age, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it was a real surprise this year because um, I've been sort of quiet 
for the past yeah. year. And it was a nice surprise to get that. How long has it been since you've been on this show? Now, I know you were here some years ago. It was almost 10 years, I think. <laughs> you must have been with us the first year we started this show. Yeah. Was it really that long ago? Uh, I think it was 63. Well, that's right after the first year. We started in fall of 1962. <coughs> was, that, was that one of your first television shows you did here? It was one of my first um, public things yeah. altogether. I hadn't done many concerts or uh, clubs or anything. It was um, one of the first things that uh, the agency sort of sent me to. Yeah. And I was really scared. In fact, um, just being here just gives me a throwback to that feeling. You know, I just, I can't. You're regressing yeah. back to that? <laughs> the whole thing, going to the dressing room and, and uh, going to the rehearsal and television cameras. I don't do a lot of television. Right. So it sort of puts me on a defensive, somehow, especially these kind of shows. Really? Oh, I, I want you to be comfortable. Okay. Would, <laughs> was I comfortable with you that um, 10 you years ago? It was very nice. Yeah. It, was, it was really me. I, mean, um, I was terrified and I hadn't been in front of anybody in, to do this kind of thing. In fact, the agency told me that it would be better if I um, didn't sing with my guitar. Oh. And I, I've always um, performed with my guitar. Does that give you, is it like it, a security well, yeah, blanket? It's sort of uh, something to hold on to. Right. And, uh, they took my guitar away and they told me uh, it would be great if you wore a blue dress because blue looks good, you know. So I got myself a blue dress and I yeah. stood, you stood there, it, you know, I with suppose. my hands down like this because I, I didn't know what to do with my hands. And, um, I had the same agents once say, <laughs> thought I should work without a desk. <laughs> oh, was, uh, and they brought up the blue dress also. Uh, you remember uh, those two I had? Yes. Oh, weird agents. So you bought the blue dress and I you hated it? I bought the blue dress and I, I put my guitar away and they, they said that, um, great, you know, the Midwest will love you or something. And, um, Isn't so that funny? People, they, they want you to be all things to all people and you can't. Yeah. You basically have to be yourself. Like yeah. Sandy or any of us, when you're in front of the public, I don't think, I don't think you can fool the audience very much, especially on no. television. They, they see right through, yeah. uh, you know, dishonesty. I think. So uh, is it getting easier for you now? Have you done many shows like this no. since then? No, well, I've done a few, but um, it never gets easier, does it? No, well, well, it's not easier. <laughs> uh, I was, I felt very confident when I, when they said, "Why don't you do it?" And I said, "Yeah, okay," and. Uh, I, was, I said, well, I'll just sing, and I've been doing it for right. years now, and I'm not afraid to, to get up and sing anymore. But the whole thing, I just, just threw me right back, you know, to that old fear, you know, getting up in front of people doing something that I was uh, afraid to do. Does it bother you when people ask you questions in, you know, <clears throat> in public like this, personal questions? Well, uh, you want to, you see people on these shows all the time, uh, trying to act natural, you know, and, and answering, you know. Like <laughs> well, some people are really good at it. You know, there are, there's Leonard Fry is like incredible at, at being on talk shows. He just has the funny answers and he's just good at it. You know, there are some people who, who just come off really nice on these things, but um, well, so many of the times the strength of what a person does is lessened somehow by their being on, on one of these shows because they just sort of fumble around with words and uh, um, just don't come across as strong as what they really no. do. I don't think it diminishes your talent at all. I think, I think you're a very charming girl. Uh, well. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here. And do you, you have another number planned for us that you yeah. can do? Do we have to do? Ah, the light went on. Fred, press the magic button. I didn't know you had also have a joy buzzer in the seat here, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that was when you pressed on a kind of, oh. Okay, and a whoopee cushion. After this brief word from our sponsor, we'll return and uh, Melody will do another number for us.